I'm here at TBK. They develop cell phone repair tools, and I've seen something here that is gonna revolutionize cell phone repair and micro soldering. A quick thanks to TBK for paying us a little bit to cover the production costs of this video. This machine here is an infrared laser that makes it easy to remove chips off of boards without ruining everything around it. So the problem used to be that you would, you would come in with a little board like this. This is a, an iPhone logic board. And you would come in with your tweezers and you'd want to remove one particular chip, but you need to heat up the solder. So you'd come in with a hot air gun and you'd heat it up. But the problem was you couldn't heat up just the little tiny chip you wanted. You were heating up everything around it. And as soon as you bumped into something else, chips started moving and you'd ruin a board unless you were really, really skilled at it. This machine uses an infrared laser to target just the chip you want to heat up so you can remove it without melting any of the surrounding solder. So I'm really excited to see this in action. I haven't yet. But if this can do what I think it can, this is a game changer. Okay, so first he's like lining up the, the laser and adjusting, I think it's the focus knob underneath. On a few of the chips on the iPhone, there's uh, underfill epoxy that holds the chip on the board in addition to the, the solder. And I think he's just scraping around the outside of the chip, removing underfill. So he's just kind of using it broadly right now. And now he's turning up the temperature and we're gonna remove the whole chip. So this is just flux. Again, you would use this normally with a hot air gun. Um, this makes the solder flow better. Oh wow, look at that. It's almost instantaneous. Normally you have to wait a couple minutes to get everything heated up. The temperatures here, it's set to 350, which is what I would normally set my hot air gun to for this about there. And this is the temperature, the measured temperature of the chip. But if you had a hot air gun on this, you would be just mutilating the chips all around it. It's very difficult to control your heat with a hot air gun. There we go. Yeah, that is indeed a flash chip. Wow. Very cool. Yeah, this is really slick. Okay. So now I, I want to try it myself because I've done this before. When I upgraded the um, flash storage on the iPhone, this, is amazing. I spent weeks practicing what he just did in a few minutes that looked much easier than what I did um, or the approach that I took. So I wanna try this myself, see if this is actually easier. Okay, so now preview. It's okay, small. Okay. Okay, so now we're preheating. I come in. No, okay. Okay. So we gotta scrape out the glue. Okay. okay. All right. Now, put some flux. Now this one. Like that or more? Okay, okay. Dang it, shot. So we're at just under 300 now. So the, the idea is that we're slowly bringing the temperature up. We can do it quickly, but it causes problems. It potentially causes damage to the board or the chip. I know. Okay. There. Beautiful. Ooh. <laughs> lug it across the room. <laughs> but that was beautiful. That actually turned out better than some of the ones he, he did in terms of we didn't remove any of the solder mask here. So that came out really nice. The thing with hot air is it just does not feel very controllable. And this feels very controlled, easy and safe. How do we do a smaller chip? This is Fong from the Tool Brothers. He's a good friend of mine. He helped set up this, this video. Yeah. How do we do the small chips? Can we make the, the, the heating smaller? Oh, with this. Or like this one. This, let's do this one. Oh, okay. We just have to turn it a lot. This one's better. This one's better. What about that one? We can do this one? Yeah. Okay. Easy. Easy, easy. 
Okay, so you can do whatever size you want. Yeah, that one. Yeah, that one may be harder. Easy. You need to do this little thing. So I guess it's not quite as precise as I thought. Beautiful. Easy. Easy, easy. Yeah. This is not a trivial skill to do with hot air. And with this, I think if I had an hour to do practice, I'd be an expert. I want to look at a couple of the other machines we've got back here because they're also very interesting. So this machine here removes the frame on the back of an iPhone screen and the glue around the edges to make it easy to peel the glass off the LCD for when you break your screen, usually you've just broken the glass on the front of it. So this is an important part of the refurbishing process. This one does the same thing, but it does it on the edges of a curved screen for some of the Android phones to make that process easier. This one actually takes off the epoxy on the front of the chip to allow you to do microscopic repair under a microscope on the wiring inside the chip. This one is particularly relevant for the modern iPhone. This one allows you to remove the back glass easily. It etches off all of the glue underneath the back glass to make swapping that out easier. This one also removes the frame and the glue from screens, but for iPads, so it's larger. And finally, they decided that doing one phone at a time wasn't enough. This can do five iPhones at once for big wholesale refurbishing operations. If you'd like to learn more about these machines or buy one of your own, you can go to the website down in the description. Thanks again to TBK for having me. This is Shenzhen, and it's a little taste of the future.